Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are here playing some Binding of Isaac Nuzlocke. Thank you all for joining. This is going to be fun. This is our second stream. I'm quite far behind a lot of the other people that have been competing in this competition, but mainly because I've not been playing it as much. And that's partly in uh, because I have a full-time job as well as my YouTube channel. So this is kind of something I'm doing on the side, but I'm still really enjoying it. And even if I'm not, in, I don't end up being first, I'm still gonna enjoy it nonetheless. We've got a few things that I want to do today. I want to try and unlock Maggie. I want to try and unlock Eve. Um, Apollyon would be cool. That's uh, beating Mega Satan, I believe. Um, hey, thank you very much for the follow. Um, and yeah, there's a few other unlocks we could get. I don't know how you do Judas, and I can't remember how you do Blue Baby. But yeah, <laughs> we're doing okay. Uh, we could also look at challenges as well. <clears throat> I do apologize. I've just eaten a copious amount of pizza and drank a nice milkshake. It was awesome. But there's a few different things we could do in terms of uh, challenges and such. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to try and stay away from some of the harder ones. We've already done Wacka Wacka, and we've already done um, Highbrow. So we'll probably just go into a normal run. <clears throat> I don't remember Blue Baby. I don't remember how you do Blue Baby. Is it just like beat Mum's heart like five times, ten times? I think. It's been a, it has been an incredibly long time since I've done a fresh save file, people. So I am well out of the picture here. I, I do not remember at all. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we have quite a lot of people unlocked. We have a few marks here and there. We got some Samson. Um, we did Azazel Greed just to unlock Lilith. We got Lazarus Mum's Heart. Eden Mum's Heart and Boss Rush. Uh, but then we've not really got much as anything else, so... <laughs> do head trauma, um, as that is what I suffered from on a daily basis after dealing with the internet. Oh my god. I've heard head trauma can be a little tricky sometimes, so how about we just start with a regular old run? Basically, my goal for this stream, we're going to be probably streaming for quite some time today. <clears throat> I've got the time to stream for a while, and I want to try and get at least another 100 points on my board. I'm at 113 right now. I'm hoping to get to 200 at least by the end of the stream, maybe a little more. Um, I really want to try and get a lamb kill um, or a mega Satan kill down today because you can't you can't sorry You have to kill lamb once before you can fight mega Satan. So that would have to do it with a sacrifice room And we've also got to beat mum's heart ten times as well That's another thing that we need to be doing. So do you reckon we should just jump in as Isaac and try out a normal run? What time is it for me? It is currently a quarter to nine p.m. Play Isaac then, yeah, cool. So let's just jump in as Isaac. Also, hello people that are watching on YouTube. I am, of course, uploading these VODs to YouTube. So thank you all for joining. If you're watching over on YouTube, every VOD will get uploaded. We'll get Maggie and we'll get Eve as well. Let's jump in as Isaac and see how we do. For those of you that don't know how Nuzlocke works, by the way, the way this works is we get 10 points per um, hard mode completion mark, 5 points per challenge, and 1 point per secret we unlock. But if a character dies, it can never be used again. That character is locked <clears throat> and shut off forever. So we've really got to be careful and try our hardest not to die. Yeah, Mega Satan has to technically be unlocked because you... That's a pretty good start. That's a that's a pretty good start. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> My god. That is a pretty good start indeed. Holy, holy, holy. Yes, that is the evil mock. But yeah, so to, to fight Mega Satan, you need both the angel pieces, um, angel key pieces. But angels only drop key pieces after you've beaten the lamb. So you have to beat the lamb first, and that unlocks the ability to get the key pieces. That then unlocks the ability to fight Mega Satan. So it's it's a semi-unlock. It's not really, but it is. Also, we've got the extra keepers mod on. Of course, visual mods are completely fine. We we have some visual mods on, but only visual. Um most of them that for the for you guys that watch YouTube, you'll know them. I only play with a few gameplay mods on my YouTube series, and those few are disabled. Like my the, the mods that I've made, the rebalance for their tainted Eden, Greedy Mode, and Devil Deals. As well as some of the ones that uh, add like trinket stacking, <clears throat> things like that. All of those have been removed. But otherwise, everything else is on because it's all just visual, um, and I, I really like them. They're just cool. But we'll try and we'll try and do Eve first. Hopefully, we can go two floors without picking up a heart. Ooh, hello. Managed the contact. It's not bad. 
If we can go two floors without picking up a heart, we get uh, Eve. Eve's a relatively easy unlock. Um, Maggie is also a relatively easy unlock. The only thing is, it kind of requires us to get fairly lucky with our drops. So we want to be going Angel Deal to try and get HP ups. Um, we want to be getting HP ups from our bosses. All that good stuff. Um, sp Speedball actually isn't great because shot speed with Tech X isn't fantastic, but the actual movement speed itself is very, very good. At the minute, <clears throat> we're uh, we're trying to get ourselves um, Boss Rush and Mum's Heart killed. That's kind of the only two goals we have for this run. And if possible, we could do a Sack Room if we get like a really, really good run going. Um, but we would have to get a lot of HP and have a lot more damage than we currently have before I'd be willing to try and do the Lamb. And, and use a sack room because that's uh, pretty risky. But we can, of course, try it. Of course, Tech X here to start really starts us out in an amazing spot. But even still, you need a bit more damage than just Tech X to, to, to really make things work. Um, honestly, number one's great. We have um, infinite range. That's just a massive fire rate boost for us. And it's a, a lovely yellow um, pissy ring. So we'll just try and go as long as we can without getting hit here. Um, we will, we're trying to do boss rush, so let's let's just rush along. Gonna kill all the flies that you fire pretty quick. But this is a pretty amazing start, honestly. Basement boy, there you go. And we'll grab this. That's only three HP ups required now. And then one more floor. There you go, Eve's unlocked. Okay, doesn't matter. Didn't even realize. Eve's unlocked already. I was thinking it'd be one more floor. It is not. So that's uh, that's all. That already means we can get um, we can get soul hearts again because Eve means no hearts picks up. <clears throat> Let's try and get our angel deal here. P laser is nice. You are right. <clears throat> I do apologize for clearing my throat a bit. As I said, <clears throat> literally the second before I started this stream, I was eating a, a big old pizza and drinking a milkshake. I'd ordered food at 7 p.m. Bear in mind it is now quarter to nine <clears throat> i ordered food <clears throat> at 7 p.m and it only arrived at half past uh, eight which is when i was intending to start my stream apparently the universe had other plans for me it was uh, a very very slow delivery considering the estimated delivery time was 30 minutes it was um quite shocking to me that it took so long but anyways i i ate it i i done didn't eat i done didn't eat Okay, we could get easily get hit on this room, so let's be careful. Just because of the burnies. I am going to pop in here and see if we can get a soul heart. Sadly not. Loving, loving those keepers. We also need to be donating money whenever possible. That would be a really good thing for us to do. There's our item room. What we got here. Little dumpy. My little cute fella. My little lump of dump. My little lump of dump. My little, 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 little lump of dump. The virus here would be great. That'd be one-off spun as well as um, just getting a nice item. I'm not taking pills on this run at the minute because I'm just very content with how we are. We've got good fire rate. We've got decent HP. I don't want to jeopardize anything we don't need to jeopardize. So at the minute, I'm not going to take pills. Ooh, that's tempting. That is tempting. Um, let's go do our boss now. I know that we uh, were down a soul heart and we could get hit, but I'd rather do our boss before doing that boss rush room. Turtle, have you got dead god yet? Yes, I've had dead god for about a month and a half. Uh, maybe longer. Uh, the YouTube series is quite far behind. You guys will be seeing it in around two weeks. Two weeks or so. I've had dead god for quite a while now. Right, there you go. Perfection as well. Awesome. Um, and we got a black heart out of this. That's nice. We will go back. We've got plenty of time. So I'm going to go back and uh, do our challenge room over there. Because we, like I said, have plenty of time. Do not walk into those spikes and lose perfection. That would be super sad. Turtle, your latest episode frustrated me. Is it because I didn't pick up a bunch of items? See, at the end of the day, I didn't pick up a bunch of items. You are right. But it didn't matter because we want to rerun. And I was just kind of memeing around. I was just kind of memeing around, so it didn't really matter. Oh, do you see that dodge there? You see that dodge? Good, good, good. Okay. 
Nice and easy there. Ooh, mum's toenail. No thank you. No thank you. Big no thank you. Right, spike room coming up. Get ready. There you go. Uh, we could look for secret rooms, I suppose. Um, I'll look for one here because it could be there. No, no, no. And I'll look for one here as well. I can actually look here as well. There you go. Sad to Actually, I'll put a bomb on that. Why not? Sadly, just a lot of hearts. Not much else. I should be looking for secret rooms a little bit more often, but oh well. I need to catch up with YouTube series. I'm on like 15 or so episodes behind the main series. Oh, well, to be fair, it is a daily upload. I'm sure many of you are um, back at school now as well, so it's not as easy to keep up as it used to be. So don't worry about that. Oh, 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 oh. The madman. He keeps perfection in the best way possible. Holy hell, he's done it. The madman's done it. Why'd I do that? I mean, I got IV bag anyways, but why'd I do that? In fact, why not Why not grab IV bag? That was kind of crazy that I got IV bag on one player there, but hey-ho. It do happen sometimes. I love the fact that lasers carry bombs away now. Such a cool change. Uh, the, why is that head not dead? There you go. God damn, this run is steamrolling right now. This run is steamrolling. Honestly, number one, it's such a clutch pickup. It's made Tech X so much better. Because Tech, Tech X's damage is now affected by how much charge you give it. So, this is, um, this is kind of great. Little dumpy there, getting out the big farts. Thanks, little, little fella. Well, Dumpy getting out the big farts. Okay, um... I do kind of want the Bible, I got to admit. I'm going to take the Bible. Having flight on Q is kind of nice, but even more importantly, instant mum kills is also really nice. Being able to kill mum's heart and mum's foot in a single hit is very useful. Saves us a lot of time. You don't need to unlock Tech X. No, you do not. There's actually quite a lot of high quality items like Magic Mush and um, and Tech X and Mum's Knife that you, and Brimstone that you do not need to unlock. The game is actually a little easier at the start in terms of your item pools because you have a lot less bad items unlocked. And I mean a lot less. Like the, the item pool, you tend to find the same items a lot when you play early on. Like I've um, I've, I've done the Wacker Wacker challenge to unlock Death's Touch. Because I have so few items unlocked, Wacker Wacker is actually kind of likely to be fairly common. Like there's, there's, a, there's a chance that we find Wacker Wacker um, that we find Death's Touch, sorry. Like, a decent amount. More so than you'd expect. Ball attack, not great, but we'll definitely take it. We'll also pop this. Our character's looking pretty amazing right now. We did get an angel teleport, and oh my god, we got holy light. But yeah, if I show you this, if we bomb this angel statue, literally nothing happens. You unfortunately cannot get that done until you have beaten the lamb. But this is a very good run so far, and we no longer need to worry about our angel deal, which is pretty lovely. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely going for boss rush. That's that's going to be uh, pretty much guarantee at this point. Honestly, Holy Light is so insanely good with Tech X because it triggers so often, um, as you can see, uh, that our damage is insane now. We've got Spelunker Boy, we've got Telekinesis. Uh, of course, this will just be the Angel Deal we're just in. Um, but honestly, if we can manage to get a if we can manage to get a cash room, uh, on uh, cash room. Oh, it's perfection. That's why. You're right. It's perfection. Um, but yes, um, if we can manage to get um, a sack room to work somehow this run, would be pretty damn good. Pretty damn good indeed. I forgot we had perfection, to be honest. That's why Holy Light is insta-proccing. It's pretty awesome. We're on that no-hit run life. It's pretty good. No hit run life, baby. I'm liking it. Did not mean to use that. That would have been really good for a sack room had we found one. Although we are rocking a lot of soul hearts now. We'd have to give those up. Good, good. Yum heart is pretty good. Do you know what we'll take, Yum heart? 
I think it's going to be a little bit better. We've also got another Tinted Rock here. Want to destroy those as much as possible for the HP, but more importantly, we want to be uh, opening them to unlock um, Small Rock. Small Rock is like 25 thingies, Tinted Rocks. Okay, so we might be losing Perfection here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop Perfection on the floor just in case. There you go. Had a feeling. I had a feeling. Deep inside of me. Oh my god. There's so many holy light beams, it's insane. Wow. Holy light. Uh, I can peek the deal with the devil, but I don't actually need to take anything from it. And this worked out quite nicely for us. Doesn't affect our angel chance at all doing that, so that's good. Hey, everybody that's joining. Hello, hello. Let's jump on down to the next floor. Definitely a seeded run. 100% <laughs> seeded. Piss Jesus. I am indeed piss Jesus. That's what they call me. This, this room could get us hit, but honestly, um, what's it called? The gish item, whatever it's called. The black tar ball saved us there. Oh, did you see that dodge? Did you see that dodge? I'm loving the amount of speed we have right now as well. It's really nice. Boom, boom, boom. This is such a godly run. Oh my god. Such a godly run. Uh, we don't need to buy the Soul Heart, actually. We don't even need to buy it. But yeah, we want to be... Uh, even though this, this run could go lamb or whatever, we want to be doing Boss Rush and Mum's Heart kind of first anyways. So we don't want to be taking a sack room if we find one pretty much anyways, really. That is the biggest worm I've ever seen. You see that guy? That guy was huge. That guy was ginormous. What a lad. What an absolute unit of a boy. Okay, watch me get telefragged by one of these bitches. Do your thing, fool. Okay, this is mum's heart, isn't it? Uh, boss rush away. Again, I'm going to drop perfection here. Just because I'm likely to get hit. And there you go, I did. I want perfection for boss rush. And honestly, mum's foot hits me way more than I should ever admit. I know it lowers our damage because we don't have um, holy light procs anymore. Or at least as many. But we can still easily kill her without losing perfection. So why not do so? You see? Get some HP as well. Check what's in here. Oh my god. I know. Turtle, you literally can't fight the lamb. I know, but you can with a sack room. If you use a sacrifice room, you can. Okay, bad boss to start, got to admit. Oh god, this is a really bad setup of bosses to begin here. Thank god he's dead. Okay, just get those rocks out of the way for me. Need to be careful of... Oh, no, perfection's gone. I knew it was going to happen in here. It was basically bound to happen. Um, all it took was a, a bad combination of bosses, and that's exactly what we got here. The bloat kind of scared me a little bit into moving. But we're fine. We've got plenty of damage even without. Like, we're still going to proc Holy Light relatively often. Again, another pretty horrible set of uh, bosses here. But we we've got them. I planted the bomb just to destroy the rocks, but I ended up actually sending it right into uh, into the boss. I just like getting rid of these rocks so I can stay as far away from possible as the spawns. But look at that Holy Light proc there. Like, even without the crazy amount of luck, we're still getting insane Holy Light procs. And now we don't have to play quite as cautiously. Like, I still want to keep as much health as I can. 
But I no longer need to live in fear, which I feel is a good thing. Okay, that guy, we managed to get that going. Good thing about Tech X as well is infinite range, so we're getting holy light procs and getting damage on the enemies that we're not even seeing. I'm not sure what the other boss is, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. But I think he's dead. I'm also not going to lie about that. I think he is dead. Oh, yes, baby. We're slowing him down every now and again as well, which is good. Again, I don't know who's here. Probably Pin or something. Okay, no, it's Frail. Frail's a little more annoying, but we can deal. There you go. Don't know who the other boss is. Oh, it's you. Hello. Yeah. Bound to happen at some point. That guy That guy can do, some, do a number on you. But we're on wave 9 already. This is going good. Two annoying bosses in a row there. We got him. Anything that charges at us is going to be kind of annoying, like this dude. Just because we kind of have to watch out while the other enemy does his thing. But luckily, Ragman was way too far away from us to do anything. I do think as well, it does It does kind of matter what side you decide to sit at and what enemies spawn where. Sometimes you can get some really horrible combinations of bosses and locations. It's not often, but there is also a few um, boss rush rooms that have like spiked rocks on the corners that are really hard to kind of see in the heat of combat. Hey, we unlocked Necro. I kind of forgot that this count this counts as seeing the bosses, therefore you actually do get um, unlocks for fighting specific bosses. Like, Necro is like, fight every single boss from the, the, the depths. So now we fought every boss from the depths because we fought them in that. How did I not get hit there? And also, why is there a soul heart on the floor? I will not question it. I am very grateful. Hey, my day is doing pretty good. Thank you, Axel. Also, thank you for all your comments on the YouTube channel. You have been absolutely crushing it. You and Athol are just gods. Gods among the comment section. It's amazing. It really helps me out a lot. Like, comments are like one of the very best things you can do to help the channel grow. Even if you're leaving a comment to say, hey, fuck you, bitch, don't do that. But, like, even if you are, like, people don't, a lot of haters and people that are uh, trying to, like, put your video down don't realize that if they leave a negative comment and a uh, dislike, that's actually better than them doing nothing at all because it's engagement and youtube loves engagement like it's the one big thing the algorithm is the more engagement you have the more likely your video is to get suggested so on my way to comment <laughs> fucking bitch i think the filter will actually catch that but i don't know but anyways we unlocked isaac's head and pop which i don't think will do anything here no i didn't think it would anyhow let's uh let's get swimming along into the womb I just got to start drama, yeah. Okay, Womb's, womb's where it is. Womb is where uh, things start to get a little more saucy, because obviously the full heart damage. And also, one, one big factor here is our actual damage itself isn't amazing we're kind of relying on holy light procs to kill things quickly by no means is it bad our damage is pretty fucking good but it's not insta killing anymore so we do have to be wary that we kind of have to wait for holy light procs to get that big damage now had i been a smart boy and dropped perfection before doing boss rush might be a bit better, but I wanted to use Perfection in Boss Rush to try and make it a bit quicker. Not that we're under any sort of time limit here, because we haven't unlocked Hush yet. There's literally no physical way we can do Hush. But hey-ho. Um... Just fire some of them down there. Some angled boys. Don't really know where we're going here. This is kind of crazy. Um... Unfortunately, that's not really very playable, is it? Uh, I tell you what I will do, though. Just to see if we can get blood bag. Because the thing is, if we get a blood bag here, we do very much, though, so grab ourselves Maggie. So we should definitely at least play these a little bit. We did get Isaac's heart and a hell of a lot of money. Eh. Do you know what? We'll do it one more time. Ech. 
Heck you game. Is Blood Bag unlocked? Oh, uh, you are right. <laughs> Blood Bag is an unlock. I do always forget that. Yeah, it is. You're right. So we can't even get that. I always forget. How do you unlock Blood Bag? Is it just by playing the donation machine so many times? I'm going to guess it is. Yeah, I, don't, I, I forgot about that. Hush is a BS boss. Hush can be a BS boss. I think Hush is okay depending on the patterns he puts out and in what order. But there's some specific orders of patterns that he does that are real mean. Just real mean. We can't really do a uh, sack room here because we basically have to get the seven soul heart payout to make it worthwhile. Because we'd have to lose all of our soul heart health. Um, and I don't think it's worth the risk. I think we maybe see if there's one on the next floor. I don't even know if they can be one, two floors in a row. But otherwise, we just take the mum's heart victory and be happy with it. PJ's unfortunate because I should have just thought about what I did there. That was kind of stupid. If I'd have been smart. Oh, is, is Seraphim not a HP up? I thought it was. That's kind of annoying. Um, I should have been smart there and used PJs to play the sack room and get the extra HP. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even cross my mind. Really stupid decision. Easily could have played the sack room there. Um, but that was unfortunate because if we'd have got a health upgrade from the, that angel deal or this boss, we would have unlocked Maggie. But we're still unfortunately off of um, off of it. I don't think Binge Eater is an unlock, but it is a secret room item, so it is kind of hard to find. Um, speaking of said things we should probably go and look for our secret rooms just in case something like binge eater does exist so let's kind of take a little take stock of what we've got and see if secret rooms pl uh, plausible to find of course it's not there we do have flight now which is rather nice could be here as well no Sh check what's in this room real quick We do have a lot more. Of the, um, oh, we should play this guy 100%. This guy could give us a HP up. I gotta say, I accidentally tapped the bomb button there. Whoopsie daisy. Come on. <laughs> You're just stuck with it now. Stuck with the uh, Among Us profile picture. Dude, no. Oh, you bastard. Ah, why? My st stupid little fella. He just absolutely assassinated himself. You didn't have to do it to us, baby. You didn't have to do it to us. I think I already checked here, but I'm going to check it again. I did not. Absolutely trolled. Well and trolledy. Not truly. Well and trolledy. Steam sale. Thank you. Right. Anyways, let's just hit, head on down to the next floor. This could have been the run to do Mega Satan. I just kind of sucked up a little bit. I should have looked for the super secret. You're right. Um, that could have been the run. I did mess up a little bit with the PJ's play there. That was a little bit stupid of me, but hey ho. Um, we're, we're still going to play the hell out of this dude and see if we can get anything out of you. Okay, that's good. There was coins on the last floor that I definitely should have picked up as well. Yes! Maggie unlocked. Awesome. So, we, we achieved something big in our first run here. We got two new characters unlocked. Did get hit immediately upon walking into that room. It's annoying, but oh well. Ooh, we are getting hit in this room a bit. These enemies are the worst for Tech X. They move too fast. Oh, damn. The Doppel's not dead. I thought he was. Oh, God. Yeah, another room we could easily get hit in. I'm scared. They had some good unlocks so far. That's two characters unlocked and a bunch of secrets as well this, uh, this first run. Like I said, even if we don't manage to get the... Uh, the lovely little um, sack play. Because we'd have to get a lot of soul hearts on this floor to make me want to do it. I want to be going into Mega Satan with near to full health, to be honest. We should, we should definitely grab that for now.
Is this going to be the stone hands or normal mum's hands? Normal mum's hands. Why did I do that? That was so dumb. I do know now that I don't need to go back into that room. There's a soul heart back. Thank you. I just walked right into that hand. Absolute stupidity. Tainted characters are definitely going to be tough. There's quite a lot we need to do before we can get to those. I know that um, Sea Eater has already got them. Like the madman he is. But he's been playing like four hours a day. So to be fair. Fair play to him. Forgotten shouldn't be too bad. I think you have to beat the lamb before you can do Forgotten as well though. We'll just accept this one for what it is. We'll beat out... Um, We'll beat out Mum's heart here and just accept this one for what it is. We might get to go and do um, Sheol if we get the um, the trapdoor proc for the deal with the devil. Although it is only a 15% chance, so not super likely. But there you go. We didn't get it. We'll just end our run here. I think I'm pretty happy to do so. That was pretty damn good. Good amount of secrets there. And another one on the win streak. So, should we just play Maggie right off the bat here? Should we just go straight for Maggie and try that out? I know that we don't have a starting pill yet. So, of course, not going to be the best run for doing a sack room. But we can try it out. I think she also does get guaranteed full health pills and health up pills in every rotation. So, taking pills with her, pretty good. So, let's just uh, jump on in and do a Maggie run. We're going back to back to back here. Just stacking them up. And, of course, we start with Yum Heart as well, which is another big thing. Uh, we're probably going to take some damage on this room, yeah. Just don't take damage from the champion, we'll be fine. There's also a, a nice little uh, tinted rock there if we can manage it. Tinted rock would be nice. A bomb, there you go. Tinted rock, lovely. Hey, Mr. Mega's been unlocked. Oh, a bomb and a key. That's gross. That's a gross payout. Is her pill unlockable? Yes, it is unlocked by doing the April's Fool challenge, which I am not willing to do because the way that challenges work in this Nuzlocke is that if you die on a challenge, all challenges from that DLC are then locked away from you. So I don't want to do April Fool until I can guarantee I can win it. And the biggest way to do that is by unlocking Golden Hearts. Golden Hearts make April's Fool challenge an absolute walk in the park they make it so much easier because the um this is not an easy room yeah the um golden hearts take damage and then they're supposed to drop coins but instead they don't instead they drop loads of other shit like soul hearts and they just make you near invincible It is a good strategy, though, if you want to try and do a, a lamb kill early. It's what a lot of the people have already done. It is a very good strategy. What we got to start here? Ooh, eight-inch nails. Nice. Not a bad item to start off. Nice little damage upgrade early. I like damage. Knockback is also nice, too. Look at him. He's nodding. The boy nods. The keeper with the nod. Um, I am tempted to grab that. Although, I have to say, not yet. But yeah, getting a damage up early is super nice on a character that has uh, low speed. Low speed can be a really easy way to take some really dumb damage. Uh, being able to kill enemies before they can do said damage is very nice. Really don't like these dudes at all. These spiders are horrible. Got him. Uh, we are going to be taking pills here because... Oh, that's not great. Um, health up pills do exist as Maggie. So do full health pills. We want to be discovering those as soon as possible. Get these in there. Okay, these spiders are just being annoying. Good, good. The horn is a bit annoying here as well. Just a little bit annoying. Boom. 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 Get off my... Hey, I always forget they can shoot, you know. Like, these, these enemies are already hard enough because of the weird, weird, bizarre way that they move. There you go, look. The really bizarre way that they move, and it's like, hey, 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 guess what? Now we shoot too. Now we shoot as well. It's like, could you just make them not shoot? Oh my god. Our speed here is going to mean we're going to get hit quite a lot against this guy. This is probably the worst first floor boss you can get as Maggie. 
before you get any speed upgrades, before you have really good damage. I mean, we do have pretty good damage, but still. Also, what makes you large there, fooling me into thinking I was about to get hit? It increases the size of your character, but not the size of your hitbox. That could be good. I will take all of these pills, especially when three of them are the same pill. Great. Great. Oh, my God. We got a pretty fly there. Uh, how do you unlock Golden Hearts, by the way? I think I think it's one of the challenges, but I think you have to kill XXXL challenge. There you go. Yeah. You've got I think you've got to unlock that. Oh shit. Shit 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 shit. I forgot that this persisted through floors. Whoopsie. I, I would very much like to preserve my devil deal here. No! Stop it! I can't shoot you, you motherfucker! God damn it. I really, really should not have entered this room. Very, very bad misplay there. Very mad miss. I really should have just waited this out and waited till it was finished. That that room is horrible. Ooh, we do have a library here. I, I honestly don't really care about any of the books apart from Book of Revelations, Satanic Bible, and getting Bookworm. Yeah, um... I actually think that Yum Heart's way better survivable, uh, survivability than Shadow. At least now we don't have to worry about not getting hit on this floor. Um, sponsor random trinket. Grants one extra trinket slot. Not bad at all. Ooh. Yes, baby. Give me what I like to see. Ooh, papi. That is the sweet stuff. Oh, yo, yos. I'm very happy with that. Best trinket in the game, pretty much. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. I am going to go for this here. Let me line it. Let me actually, let me enter this room and I get a perfect liner. Guarantees I get both of these. Nice little pennies. We also had a tinted rock in that room above us there as well. Let's probably try and get that at some point. Okay. Just let these guys do their thing. Let them chill. We'll kill each other eventually, most likely. Could have tried to get a secret room from them, but not super likely. We could try going to the shop here, but we're, we want to try and do boss rush here. We want to try and get two marks per run while we can. So I'm just going to keep running and uh, go with it. Yeah, bugger tears are great. What the fuck? Double soul heart drop from a boss. Pretty good. Also meat. Pretty good. Let's just go. That was a very good flaw for us. Apart from the fact that we lost our devil deal, but we still got a devil deal anyways. Ho ho. The absolute amazingness. Yeah, we got to go fast, but we've got to go even faster than normal because we've got really low speed. Like compared to Isaac, we had 1.6 speed as Isaac at our max. Do not destroy that poop if we can help it. Nope, it's, this is impossible. We have to destroy it, I think. Actually, we don't. We maybe don't. This is annoying because this is very slow. No, we have to destroy it. It's annoying. I was really hoping we could leave that for like a sack room or something. Good butthole spider. Dude, come back. Very annoying. That's That, that was an unfortunate placement for that. Well, that guy's getting aggressive. He's firing out all the explosive bombs. This is a really horrible little area they've got cornered there. Don't like it. Good, good. I have three keys. I'm going to peek this. Uh, ooh, I kind of would like that. Oh, that, that's also a very cool looking keeper as well. The game's surely going to do that to me. Yeah, I kind of expected that damage. Trying to get this guy to fire a bomb at these fucking mushrooms, but he will not do it. We'll go back for our item room. I want to do this first. I don't know. Yeah, can I, like I said, I didn't know if the buggers stuck for him when he left the screen, but they do. Of course, buggers, one of the best things about them is not the damage over time. Not the fact that they scale with your damage. They're two of the very good things, but they get massive homing as well. They're no longer infinite, though. They only last 10 seconds now. Unfortunately, we got um, just larger tiers, which doesn't really do anything for us. Apart from fit our larger stature that we now have. We are a big girl. An absolute big girl, so it's fitting. Let's get our item room here. Aquarius, it scales with your damage. And uh, now it does like 
75% of your tier damage, so pretty happy with that. We're still good to speed along here. We've got good enough health. I know that we're skipping a lot of rooms, but when we're trying to make boss rushes a slow gale, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a very good idea. 66, that's it, not 75. You're right. Slightly annoying enemy here. We did manage to stick a few of them to him. Oh, guess what? Random bugger tier Aquariuses. That means that randomly Aquarius gains herming. Pretty funny. Yeah, Aquarius inheriting tier effects is so cool. But yeah, it, it randomly inherits um, bugger tiers. So it does randomly gain herming. Which is very interesting. Ringworm isn't really what we need right now. Although we do have two trinket slots. I still don't think it's that good for us. I do need to remember I have two trinket slots. I always tend to forget that. It's a very useful thing to have, actually. Trinkets are immensely powerful. Or at least can be, as proven by right now. Look at that. Look at the Aquarius go. It's great. Aquarius just out there be herming. So cool. Oh my god, imagine if Aquarius worked for the worm trinkets, that'd be insane. It'd be so funny. Just seeing like this Kaylee Aquarius fucking zoom in across the room, that'd be so funny. Next item room. Piercing. I think piercing is well worth it right now. I do realize there's a re-roll there and we could maybe get something a little bit better. But don't look a gift horse in the mouth in the mouth, honestly. This is a pretty damn um pretty damn good thing for us to get. Uh, I think this is secret room. I'm going to try it out. It's not. Okay. I'm getting worse and worse at this. Okay, so Aquarius is very important against these guys. We ended up killing them easily anyways. One thing to note about the bugger tiers, unlike Holy Light that we had in our last run, it is not affected at all by our luck. So we, we, can, we can't get extra procs by having higher luck. This is a very horrible little room here. Really don't like this room. Aquarius helping us out. God damn, really didn't like that room at all. Piercing's so good here. Spectral would make it even better. But the damage that we've got with Aquarius already is giving us some much needed protection from contact damage enemies, such as these little fellas. Dude, just 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 chase me down, you fella. What are you doing? Who thought giving those goblins herming shots was balanced? It's not even the fact that they're herming. It's like the strongest herming in the game. It's stronger than the herming that you get from Spoonbender. It's bizarre. It's just like they can unlatch from an enemy they're latched out onto and re-herm to a new enemy. It's crazy how much herming they actually have. Like the fact that they can re-latch is insane. I mean, it's a lot better now that they only have a 10 second lifespan. But 10 seconds is longer than most enemies have. It only really affects major bosses. Like, look at that. That one just relatched then. It's kind of it's kind of crazy how easily it does that. More soul hearts here. We're getting a lot of random soul heart room drops. Very, very nice. How did I dodge that there? Okay, I did not quite dodge that one. Or that one. We have very low speed. I'm kind of hoping for a speed up or a damage up here. Either would be very beneficial. Angel deal would also be nice. We did get the angel deal. We got a soul heart and a luck up. As I said, luck ups don't affect it, but still. Um, I think rosary is actually the way to go here. Uh, prayer card is good, but we've already got a good active. Rosary is going to give us that nice boost to our uh, fire rate. Nice boost to our health as well, topping us off at max. But more importantly... Um, it's going to give us the chance to find the Bible. Finding the Bible means that we can get Bookworm. So, pretty good. But yeah, that fire rate buff is really, really nice. We needed that a lot. We're taking pills as Maggie, because that's exactly why health ups exist as Maggie. So, always take your pills as Maggie, unless you're in a really dire situation, to be honest. Get in that Aquarius. Yes. Mr. Boom's kind of interesting. I kind of want it. Ooh, a Hierophant card. Health is looking great here. 
Yeah, T is up too. Is the, they made Rosary so much better because Rosary was such an annoying item to get, and it all of a sudden became so great in Repentance just with that one addition of giving it a stat upgrade as well. Because before, when you didn't need HP, like yeah, you had ne full on near to full HP. It was such a terrible item to get in your Angel deal or otherwise. Now it's so much more of an inviting item to see, like. Because even if you're at maximum HP, you're still getting a pretty hefty benefit. Cause it's it's not like a small tears up either. It's a fairly sizable tears up among the likes of um of what's it called? Uh, can't remember the name of it now. But other tears up that are good. What's the um sad onion? That's it. Dry baby, hello. There are different pills for Maggie. Well, no, there aren't different pills, but. Maggie has an innate ability, um, well, like a, a baked in effect, where every every run that you play, there's a different rotation of pills. So you, if you if you play a run, one run might have health up and health down pills, but the other run might not. There's a there's a different rotation. You don't get every pill eff uh, effect in every run. Uh, whereas Maggie guarantees a health up pill and guarantees a full health pill in the pill rotation every time. And it does make Seraphim more common too. You are right, um, Strafe. You are right. What's an Isaac Nuzlocke? Essentially, we are going to... We start, we started a new save file. We're going for completion marks. And we get points per completion mark on hard mode. We get 10 points, to be exact. 5 points per challenge we do. And 1 point per secret we unlock. But the kicker is, if we die as a character, that character is locked forever. We can no longer use them. So any future completion marks in that character cannot be gained. If you don't have their tainted version, you cannot unlock their tainted version. Um, and yeah, it's just all round, it's not something you want. Hey, a look upgrade as well. It's not something you want at all. You do not want to be dying. But it just it adds a lot more risk into it. It means that you kind of have to plan out your unlock strategies and kind of... Uh, try and uh, get do as good as you can with unlocking things as quickly as possible and unlocking characters especially as quickly as possible and as well we are competing me and a bunch of other content creators it's hosted by uh, a youtuber slash streamer named bd1p we're all competing to see who can get the best score i'm doing reasonably well considering this is only my second stream but there's some other people that are absolutely kicking ass at it um we've been running it for about a week now um just over thank you or just under, maybe. Just under a week, actually, is it? I can't remember. Are we going to make boss rush right now? We are on Necro 1, so it, it looks fairly likely. Ooh, this is a horrible little room. Horrible little room here. This might be one of the worst rooms on this floor. Yeah. Please, just stop. Thank God we had Boogerty is there. My goodness, that was horrible. Yeah. Take as many of these guys out as we can. A knockback's really nice against these dudes. If you die using Kane and... Um, if you die using Kane and have Tainted Version, could you play with Tainted Kane? Yes. If you already have the Tainted Version unlocked, you can play with them freely. But if you are playing as Kane and you die as Kane, but you don't have Tainted Kane unlocked, tough luck. Tainted Kane's now gone too, because you didn't lock him, and you, that's the only way you can get him. We've not been to our item room on this floor, have we? Probably try and find that. Actually, have we? Well, did we get Dry Baby on this floor? Maybe we did. I can't remember. Did we? Yes, okay. Let's just go for it then. Let's not dilly dally. Okay, so this guy can knock off the um the bugger tears by doing that teleport that he just did. Slightly annoying, but oh god damn, he's hitting me a lot. Don't worry though, we've got this. Ancient recoil, yay. Don't teleport. You'll die if you don't. Good, good. And there's the Bible. Um, at this point, we probably want to keep the Bible, honestly. Indeed, yes. Bible can appear in any loot pool once you've had the rosary. 
But yeah, we're going to take the Bible. Uh, we got we got Bookworm, which is great, but we're going to take the Bible for the instant mum kill because we are a little bit slow. Not super slow because we are on the mum floor now, but we're a tiny bit slow for ma making boss rush. So I'd rather give ourselves the biggest chance we can. Also for rooms like this, it's really nice. Where you can just pop flight, make your life a hell of a lot easier. Oh god, why is there so many hands in that room? Holy fuck. I was expecting there to be maybe three. There was like five. Got down one left, I think. That was insane. That was insane. Now, we're not really doing our due diligence in this run. We've not really been trying to get every little bit out of this run that we can. But we've got a, a fairly strong run for doing boss rush. It's not the best. Definitely nowhere near as good as our last one. But it's still pretty good. And I think we're, we're well within our rights to get boss rush here. We're going to take some damage in this room. It's basically a foregone conclusion, sadly. I'm kind of just going to leave my um, thingies. Okay. My bugger tea has just destroyed that room for me. That was awesome. 17 minutes. Well, 18 minutes now, pretty much. Come on now. Good, good. Piercing so nice for this as well. Oh, the knockback on these guys. Get wrecked. Okay. Dry baby, thank you. That was amazing. That was super amazing of you. Common cold, not bad. We might as well go into our shop here as well. I think we have the time. God damn, we are painfully slow though. This 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 speed is horrible. No. This is bad. Don't know how we didn't get hit there. Thank you, Dry Baby, for helping me out. I did get hit. Okay, this might actually be a little too slow. We have to we have to basically be if we're if we're going the wrong direction now, we're probably missing boss rush. Yeah, there you go. There's a good chance we miss boss rush now. We need to get through um, a few rooms very quickly. Uh, that's why I didn't get hit there. Good. Especially when we get enemies like this. I'm just going to take the hit here and uh, kill this guy as quickly as we can. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We made it. That's why we brought the Bible, people. That's why we brought the Bible. Um, What do people think about this? What do people think about this? Should be a good take. Do you reckon take both? Do you reckon both would be a good good way to do this? Also, just while I'm paused here, let me go and check something real quick. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Take both, you think? Cool, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, in we go. Something feels familiar. Some things feel a bit familiar here. Just tech X twice in a row. Okay, so there is spiked rocks here. Good thing is, spiked rocks can hurt enemies, as you just saw there. Oh, bugger tears plus tech X is so good too. It does work. We do have a lot lower fire rate than we had previously, but I think we have a lot higher damage. Also, we might as well use flight here just so we don't end up accidentally hitting the rocks. Also, the double uh, brimstone bosses here. Also, the fear is quite nice. I like it. Tech X part two, baby. It's not rigged, I swear. It's not rigged, I swear. But look at all these fucking... Uh, Fear shot bug of tears. Also, uh, missing tear G effects is why we're seeing the fear shot, uh, like uh, the fear shot and the um, bugger tear apply at the same time. It, visually, it looks very cool. I like it. Yeah, we have a lot more damage than we had last time. I think. We're killing stuff a lot faster. Also, the knockback is so funny. Some lighter enemies are just getting tossed around. It's hilarious.
Okay, good. We are wrecking this. Absolutely wrecking this. Also, Bookworm is a really good pickup. I'm very, very glad that we got Bookworm. Bit annoyed that I got hit there, but it's not a terrible hit. Honestly, Fear. Fear is so good for us right now. I'm really liking the fact that we have some Fear going on. We'll most likely get a Soul Heart drop at some point during this, although we're not fighting champions. Champion Boss Rush does drop a lot more Soul Hearts, generally. Okay. This guy's a bit annoying. Let's hope he doesn't do anything too horrible. Yeah, there you go. There's bit, if you're on this angle with that guy, there's essentially no way you can avoid him hitting you there. It's okay, though. We're fine. We're looking good. Um, oh, fucking... I was like, what the fuck just hit me then? Fucking spiked rocks. Fucking spiked rocks. Always get me. Maggie's bow has been unlocked. Little Brim, that's nice. We did indeed get a soul heart at least. Not bad, not bad. Left for a few minutes, got Tech X two times in a row. Yes, Boss Rush had Tech X. We did indeed get Tech X two times in a row here. Pretty heckin' good, right? Pretty heckin' good. We're gonna blast through these, um, through these thingy runs at this rate. Our, uh, Mum's heart kills. We're gonna absolutely blast through them. Not having flight in this room is kind of annoying, but I'm not going to pop the Bible because this room's dead. There's our first boss already. Nice. I love the way that the Aquarius changes color as well to match your tier effects. Even though some of the tiers, like, some of the Aquariuses don't do anything. This one actually does because it does um, give you fear shot on your Aquarius. But a lot of them don't do anything. It's just a visual. Like, rubber cement changes the color and stuff. Even though, of course, rubber cement Aquarius does nothing. It's just kind of interesting that, that they've made it do that. Oh, that's really nice. We definitely need to fire it right up here. Uh, is that an, a reference to anything in particular? Do you mean Tech X? Or the, um, the thing that Strafe said? I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing you mean, you th mean the thing that Strafe said. That'd make more sense. But yeah, I did, I did uh, hear that about the boss, even though, like, you'd never know otherwise. you got to, like, isn't it, like, only in the game files or something that you know that? Yeah, I like that too. Ed Edmund does a really good job in this game of uh, giving things a lot of personality and a lot of, um, a lot of like, love to their character and stuff like that. It's not just, this is enemy, it does thing. It's normally got quite a in-depth backstory of where it comes from and how it came about and, like, name and things like that. Oh, Rune Shards. First time I've seen them. None of them seem to do anything, but hey. We should also take that Whale card. Why wouldn't we? This, by the way, is totally not a run where a Sack Room is viable, even if we did have one, so... Not going to bother doing that this time around. Oh, look at this fella. Look at this fella. I like him. The Keeper's Mods. Why are Rune Shards so fucking rare? Strafe, they're not. They can only be found on save files that don't have all the runes unlocked. Holy shit, it's Ark, it is. Yeah, basically, rune shards were added in to stop people cheesing the Yera technique, where you only unlocked Yera rune and nothing else. Pete, a lot of people... Would, uh, ooh, hello, we can get an extra completion mark here. I definitely think we're capable of doing this. Let's go for it. Um, yeah, essentially, uh, everything is terrible. Great. Yeah, essentially, they were added in to stop people from uh, just unlocking the error rune and nothing else to see the error rune way more commonly than anything else. Uh, also, whatever we do, do not use the Bible on the Satan fight. Whatever we do, do not use the Bible on the Satan fight. No, 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 no. Do not do that. That would be tragic. Now is the time, by the way, to uh, try and exploit everything we can. Two of hearts is good here. It kills you. 
if you use the Bible on a certain fight, or uh, the lamb on Mega Satan, you just die. <laughs> really? That spider hit me? Are you kidding me? Thanks, Try Baby. Real helpful there. We'll use it in this room, however. How'd I not get hit there? I do not know. Okay, good. We don't even have it charged. It's literally impossible for us to accidentally use it here. Good. We literally impossible for us to accidentally use it. Three, two, one. Yeah, good timing. This should be a breeze. I do find it interesting that this weird quirk where if you get a deal with the devil on the last floor, you can fight Satan before you technically have unlocked him. It's a strange little little quirk that the game has. Same with like sack rooms allowing you to go to the lamb early as well. It's a it's an odd addition really. But there you go. That's another boss done, another mark done. Very, very nice. Garden Angel. Judas! There you go, we unlock Judas. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. We unlock Judas. Okay, um... Should we just go for Cain now? Should we just, like, reel them out and go back to back? I'm not going to do Judas yet, because I'm scared. But, do some challenges. I don't really want to do challenges, to be honest, because they scare me. And, like, there's nothing I really need to unlock. Like, XXXL is a good challenge to go for, and then we can go for um, April Fool. But XXXL is kind of a hard challenge. Honestly. I'm not going to play Judas yet. Do not worry. I'm too scared to do that. <clears throat> Should look more at the difficulty than the unlocks. <clears throat> well, the the XXL challenge isn't super difficult. It's just... Um, is there anything necessary to beat XXL easily? Not really, it's just get a strong run. The thing is, basically, you have to do a full run where every floor is XXL. But that means half the amount of shops, half the amount of secret rooms, and half the amount of item rooms the whole way through. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's just a boring challenge, really. I, I honestly don't really think we should do any challenges right now. Um, like, unless there's one that people can see that's, like, super easy, but has a really good unlock. Is there any, like, that people can think of? I know Computer Savvy's a decent one. It's, like, that you think you get tech point five for that. Let's go and have a little look through the challenges, shall we? Isaac. Challenges. Let's, let's just go check what Computer Savvy actually is. Computer Savvy... Oh, uh, no, it's Rover Baby 2.0. Which one's tech point five? The host is tech point five. Um, no item rooms start with the mulligan, spider baby, and the tick. That sounds kind of awful. No item rooms, and that's all you get. The mulligan's not that good. <clears throat> yeah, rubber baby 2.0 is not worth unlocking. Oh, shit, skull. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, let's, let's go down the list. So, we've already got Yera Rune. I don't really care about unlocking other runes particularly at the minute. Um, rune of um, Degas could be quite good, but that's uh, Darkness Falls, which is kind of a hard challenge in, its, in itself. Um, Chaos card you get from Demo Man. Dr. Fetus, Remote Detonator, and Matchstick to Mum's Heart. We haven't actually unlocked that yet. Um... Nine Volt Habit, Lemon Mishap, and One Lemon Party Pill. Some of these challenges can, do sound kind of hard. 
Uh, it's in the cards. It's just a lot of cards, and you get SMB Super Fan. Should we do that one? It's in the cards. Do see double. I haven't even got that unlocked yet, dude. You need Jacob and he's able to do that one. It's in the cards. Let's go for it. Hopefully, we don't lock any challenges doing this. We do need to succeed here for this to work. Um, the Hermit. Let's just do this, and then... Ooh, that's a good start. That's a very good start. Getting as many items as we can is going to be good here, because we don't have um, thingy rooms. We can teleport out. Hey, it's Kirby again. Yeah, SMB Superfan's pretty good, so... But yeah, it, basically, the more items we can get that aren't, obviously, item room items are going to be better, because you can't get item rooms in these challenges. So secret rooms would be pretty good if we can find those. Um, using our Empress card here for uh, hard rooms or boss fights is going to be super useful. More, more than likely just boss fights. But yeah, we have really good damage now right off the bat here, which is awesome. Of course, Devil and Angel deals will be very important too, if we can get them. Uh, I can't remember where this one goes to. It's just Mum's Foot, isn't it? Yes, it is. One moment. There you go. Yeah, it's just Mum's Foot, I believe. <clears throat> there you go. The Sun. Okay, the Sun is our backup card. The Sun is for when things get too hard, because that's a full heal. We will basically keep the Sun on us at all times, unless we have another Sun. I think that makes sense. We don't need to explore the floors here, because we're good to go. Very annoying room, so I'm glad I, I used that. Very annoying boss fight here. Indeed. Really, really fast at charging. Oh god, oh god, yeah. I knew I was going to get hit there. I want to hope we can keep this Black Hearts on next floor, so I'm really hoping these guys don't do too much of a number on me. For fuck's sake, get out my way! Okay, we got <laughs> we got a Soul Heart back at least. Oh god, that was horrible. Anyways, we got HP, which is fantastic, and we got Placenta if we really need to cheese this challenge. We are taking damage in this room. It's sad to say. Oh, no. Ooh, our damage might have outdamaged these guys. I hate these enemies so much. Temperance machine. I'm just going to plop that down here and then bomb it. Brum. Lovely. Um, fart, fart baby for beating her. Yeah, some of them are really strange. Like, the, the delirium unlocks versus the greedier unlocks is mental. Like, some of the Delirium unlocks... Like, for doing, I think it's Delirium Judas, you unlock the Shade. The Shade is, like, one of the worst items in the game. <laughs> it's like, like... Like you said, they're so unequal. Like, so unbelievably unequal. Get rid of them first. Okay, this is going to be kind of an annoying room. I kind of wish I had, like, a, a Death card in this room or something. Let me just speed it up a little bit. Okay, especially with these webs about, it's going to keep us from moving too quickly. Just let you do your thing. Keep you in there. There we go. Tanky bastard. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll just uh, use the moon card, but we'll see if we can go into a curse room first. Really hate these enemies. Very much should have just used the um, the barrel there to kill these guys. Good, good. Whew. Unlocks are the number one thing I hate about Isaac. I think generally a lot of the unlocks are just fine. Like, there's a lot of the unlocks that I have absolutely no problem with. But there are a lot of unequal and stupid unlocks too. Undoubtedly. Oh my god, look at that guy. He is having the time of his life. We're not, we're not timed at all here, so let's go find our curse room before we do uh, uh, do too much more here. Yeah, e exactly. The, 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 they're just so, so weird, so askew. And then there's some other ones that are just also really strange too. Yeah, that's from Tapeworm. Yeah, it is. It is. It's very cool looking. There's some really sick ones in that, um, more. Like, the original extra NPCs pack is already fantastic, but the, the new one, with the, like, more than triple the amount added to it, has some insanely good ones. Yeah, 
Okay, here's the cash room. Pop in here, get a black heart. Get the hell out of here. Oh, this, <laughs> this is an invisible keeper. That's kind of strange. Got a wild card there as well. That's a, that's a pretty strange thing to see, the invisible keeper. Right, let's go. We're looking really good for this challenge so far. I, I think with the items we have now, we could probably win, but I'm hoping we get more still. I'm hoping we get a good shop coming up. That'd be nice. Okay, we got pin here. <laughs> get wrecked, boy. Get wrecked by the bomb. Uh, we're, ne we're not going to go devil deal because I think health is pretty precious in these challenges. Uh, plan C jank move to... Yeah, you can do that. You can do the plan C jank. That's fine. If you manage to pull it off, you've earned it. If you manage to pull it off, you've earned it, but pretty much. For those of you that don't know how to do that, you can basically pause buffer in the delirium fight in order to make delirium die before plan C kills you. It's pretty weird, but um, you can do it. Oh, look at the angry keeper. That's cool. There's some proper meme ones and ones that really don't fit the game at all. But there is actually, if you download the um, mod configuration thing. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Uh, there's the, there's a, a mod that allows you to configure mods. If you download that, you can either have all of the keepers enabled or just the vanilla style ones for people that prefer them. I'm kind of tempted to take Bob's Rotten Head here, you know. It's so good. Um... But yeah, so you can you can do that. If you really don't like the uh, the wacky ones. But honestly, I think the wacky ones are funny and people on YouTube enjoy them, so I keep them on. Battery pack there. Don't really care for the battery pack, to be honest. He's mad because I broke into his property. Pretty much, yeah. Why do these guys have like a random amount of times that they shoot? And why why don't they die? Oh my god. <laughs> that was annoying. Good, that's one dead. This is always an annoying room, especially the one with the fast guys too. It's always really tough. Or at least I find it really tough. Because these guys do full heart damage. I always forget they do, but these guys do full heart damage. God damn it. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. We're not getting many, uh, many damage oriented, you little fucker. That was so close. You quick jumping little hot stepping bitch. God damn it. You big fat turd burglar. Got him. Ah, oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. I waited way too long. Oh, look. More cards. Uh, Ancient Recall. I, I'll i take that to the next floor, I think. Uh, Judgment. Spawn. Um, duplicate our bombs. Good. Probably should have used the... Uh... Actually, we don't need the moon card here. I'm just going to take Ancient Recall with me. And I'm going to blow you up. Oh, a black card. Thank you. The Sun and Ancient Recall. Good. Got the tower card there, and then Ancient Recall. Strength, Wheel of Fortune, and Hierophon. Awesome. That's the sort of thing we were looking for. Wheel of Fortune, we can just plop down there. Strength, I'll keep on me. I'll check inside here as well. Blow both of you up. Nice chariot allows us to do a bit of this. Hey! I mean, Lucky's Horns is a pretty terrible payout, to be honest, but it's better than nothing. Lucky's Horns probably the most terrible payout you can get from that guy, but there you go. Hey, thanks for the secret room unlock. Shielded Tears and some funky looking boys. Absolutely funky looking boys. 
I will pick up these four pennies just in case. Why not? Hey, Turtle, imagine if you had Echo Chamber. <laughs> yes, that would be amazing, but I do not have that unlocked yet. But that would be an insane, insane item to have on this run. <laughs> Especially if you get Echo Chamber. Echo ch uh, it's not Echo Chamber, that's what you just said. Especially if you get Ancient Recall, sorry. Ancient Recall plus Echo Chamber is so broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid broken. Justice is kind of nice here. A sack room. Imagine just playing a sack room just to flex. We do need a bit more fire rate because of shielded tears now, though. Shielded tears with low fire rate. We don't, we don't exactly have low fire rate, but shielded tears with low fire rate in general is not good. Because uh, enemies that fire a lot, you're going to have a hard time actually hitting them. Especially like Mega Certain, of course. Not a worry on this run, but just general tip. Let's keep a moving. Keep a grooving. See what we can do. But against these guys, it's pretty good. Because we can pretty much keep them off our, back, off our back permanently. Because they don't shoot very fast at all. And we can easily hit their shots. If you get it with piercing, it's really good. Because, of course, you don't get the negative of it destroying your shot anymore. Your shot just destroys their shot and carries on moving. Okay, let's take care of these one at a time. Kind of want to use the strength card here, I'm not going to lie. Form an orderly line, boys. Form an orderly line for the death train. An orderly line for the death train, all of you. Beautiful extra soul heart drop as well. Awesome. Right. Can you calm down? These buttholes, they just never stop, do they? Come on, fella. Where's your head at? Where's your head at? You guys need to chill out, I've told you. Too much poison in this bitch. Double sun card, 100% taking that. We don't really need the money at this point, do we? So I'm just going to leave it. No way we're spending all of that with only two shops remaining. I'm not going to waste my time picking it all up, to be honest. It's not even that big of a waste of time. I just can't be asked. Ancient Recall plus Echo Chamber, infinite cards, indeed. Um, it's nice catching your stream, see you. Okay, see you later, dude. Thanks for stopping by. It was nice to see you in the stream. Always nice to see your comments. Okay, we're pretty set on this fight here. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you, indeed. I hope you like the little follow animation. I've had it for a really long time from my Enter the Gungeon custom character. It's pretty cute. Hey, and another follower. Thank you indeed. Old bandage here. Good amount of ways to recover HP. Not bad at all. Definitely would like a fire rate up there. Hello there. Glad you could catch the stream. Um, I'm a bit confused about how I do this. Am I doing this right right now? Maybe. I am. Good. There's just quite a lot to do there. Beautiful. I'm using bombs for combat a lot here just to speed things up a bit. Just because I have so many and not much to do with them. I tend to like using bombs for combat in uh, in this game. Do you know what? I've got enough keys to make this easy on myself. Yeah, I, I tend to really like using bombs for combat in this game. Especially when you're in a situation where your damage isn't the best. And our damage is pretty good. But our fire rate is really letting us down a lot. It really feels a bit bad. Turtle, do I like spaghetti? Of course I do. Italian food is like my favourite type of food. I have to like spaghetti. Okay, I gotta say, we're about to get hit there. There's no way around that. I love it when these guys are champions because they look like they look like a, a glazed cake or something. They, they, they remind me of the, um, the sweet rolls from Skyrim. Oh, someone stole your sweet roll? Especially if you get you get this champion in yellow.
This is an annoying... This is a really annoying floor. There's just so many big rooms. I'm very, very tempted to just use one of these sun cards. But I just want to keep them as backup. There's, there's basically no way I'm going to need them both. But it's one of those things where when the challenges are so important for points and just getting points in general is really important, it makes a lot more sense to try and keep them. Um... We are in Necro 1 here, so we should probably keep this uh, he thingy here. By the way, can we just talk about the fact that we missed a 90% angel chance on the last floor? I, I didn't even realise, but we lost a 90% angel chance on that last floor. Fucking this enemy. I right, got you. Actually, I didn't. My god, that took it forever. That took forever. Currently on the top 10 Isaac streamers right now. Awesome. That's great to hear. Right, keep the dice shard for our angel deal because we're definitely getting one here. We did get the pile. See, this is one of the things that I that, that's a bit weird about Isaac unlocks and repentance. Like, how on earth do you have to unlock bosses like Ragman and, um, and Bighorn, but the pile isn't an unlock? Have you seen how hard this man is? Also, shielded tears versus burnies. The worst thing ever. We literally can't hit them. This is why we need fire rate. We literally can't hit these burnies. Like, like I'm not even joking. We can't hit them. Fucking hell. This is so frustrating. My god, there you go. Finally. That took so long. I need to use bombs here. I've only got a few left, but I, I this is taking forever. Oh, that was close. I said, just keep doing that attack. I can handle this one a bit. I'm getting better at it. Stop spawning burnies. I can't hit them. I've got to, like, get them at an off angle. It's really annoying. Oh, that was close. Really, now? You've got, like, two health. There you go. Okay, we finally got an angel deal. That's good. Um, I'm on a dice shard. Yes. Was hoping for something that gave us more HP or something. And we got it. Right, let's go get our other sun card real quick. Hello. The stream is great so far. That's awesome to hear. I'm very glad. I'm having a real good time in the stream so far myself. Lots of great unlocks. We're doing a challenge at the minute. The uh, It's in the cards challenge. Uh, we're, on, we're on to the last floor now with two sun cards. Slime Dragon's Holy Water. Holy Water is top tier. Holy Water's really, really good. But Halo is better. We needed that fire rate up really badly and we got it. Like, the fire rate up against like things like these burnies is just killing us. Oh shit, that one was a, uh, a skelly burnie. A skelly hand, sorry. Skelly burnie. Of course it's a skelly burnie, you moron. Very annoying rooms here, sadly. But yeah, even just against these guys, our slow fire rate is kind of cruel. Good. Ooh, soul heart. Thank you. Oh, God. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no fucking way I'm doing that room. Uh, death card isn't going to save us enough time here, really. That's another thing that people really underrate slash forget. It's so easy, like, pre, pre, like, the last floor. To just bomb out of a room that looks too scary. Like, if you don't, if it's a room you don't have to go to, or don't think you have to go to, and you have enough bombs, just get the hell out of there. It's like, do you know the, do you know the challenge where you have to play as the, the Tainted Forgotten, but his head's a bomb, and you've got to throw it at walls? I did that challenge by just throwing his head at every single door and skipping everything. I just went straight to the final boss. I didn't fight a single room. I must have killed, like, three enemies. Hey, thank you for the gifted sub, the infamous 87. That's very kind. Very kind indeed. But anyways, let's go fight our boss. It is, of course, mum's foot. This will be a pretty slow fight. 
because uh, we don't have great damage. But we do have two sun cards, so we're fairly unkillable. I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly say that, but we've got a pretty good chance here. It just depends on what enemies she spawns and just how bloody many of them she decides to spawn. We don't have any bombs to fight her, unfortunately, so we have to wait on that. We can try and tactically add it there. So yeah, so try and tactically use our black heart to get some extra damage. I didn't want to do it at that moment, so it was a kind of an accident, but it did work out. We got quite a lot of damage and killed all the extra adds. I was kind of going to wait for a moment where there were some really annoying enemies, like these dudes. But we did it early, and it worked out fine. He's more than halfway dead, and we're not even close to dead yet, and we've got two sun cards in our pocket, so we should be fine. We can even use our sun cards a little bit later on in the fight, just to get some extra damage on her, because they do do AoE damage. Boom. Like that. Speed bowl. Challenge complete. Pretty easy one there. Pretty easy one there indeed. There you go. The SMB superfan has been unlocked. Right, should we go for a cane run now? What do you think? Cane run? What are people thinking? Ooh, I had a nice bit of my milkshake there. Do you know what? I'm going to go and refill my drink before we do. Be back in just a second. I am back, and I got myself a drink. I got a nice lilt. But anyways, let's jump on into our cane run here. Try this out. Gotta be careful, cane does start with lower HP, but the higher damage makes up for it, and luckily right here, one bomb will solve a lot of our issues. But yeah, it does start with higher damage, and the, of course, massive benefit of all pills being positive, which is pretty insane as a benefit go as far as benefit goes. Made a mistake there. That was kind of a stupid way of doing that, but oh well. Again, we're going to try and do the exact same thing as last time. Boss Rush and Mother with uh, a chance at doing um, Lamb, if we can. But we're not going to hold out for Lamb. Lamb's kind of a if-we-can sort of thing. Okay, let's take out the green flies before anything else here, because they can be really annoying. There you go. Item room or item room? What do you hold for me? Eee, hanged man allows us to do some good stuff. Uh, battery, battery, and little uwu face there. Um, has the Nuzlocke tracking website gone up yet? Yes, it has. I can post a link to it in the chat in just a moment. Whoopsie, it got hit there. Right, let's go get our item room first. I'll, I'll, I'll link it after this run, I think. Okay, we've only got these guys. This isn't too bad. Item room's here. Let's hope for something absolutely amazing. Although we've been getting pretty amazing stuff this whole stream so far, so... Let's not hold out. I mean, we've we got like a little dumpy and stuff on our other run, so... Not being the best of the best, but still. Anti-grav? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Anti-grav's good enough. Hmm. 
Hey, look, Penny, I'm going to Hanged Man in here as well. Increases knockback. Knockback's decent. I'll take it. I'll take the pill too. It's a good pill. It's always going to be a good pill. Yeah, I think Antigrav's actually pretty good if you're willing to tap shoot with it, which I am. It's a pretty big fire rate upgrade, so... Because pe you know, people like don't really think about the fact, or at least don't really utilize the fact that you don't have to use it as anti-grab. You can just tap shoot it. It's a little more RSI. Uh, did you win in the cards? I did. It was a pretty easy win, actually. We had a sun. We had two sun cards back to back and a lot of HP, so pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Plus, it's super fun with Brimstone. True, 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 true. Magic Scab, even more luck, which is great. And, of course, the, the simple fact that it's HP up puts us in a good spot. By the way, I love your vids. Thank you very much. I am glad. I enjoy making them, so I'm glad people enjoy watching them. This is a rather annoying, uh, rather annoying setup for a room. That, that little bomb spider there could wreak havoc on us if we're not careful. <laughs> like that? Fuck's sake, how did he even manage that? You jumped so far, you freaky little fuck. God damn it. Hey, a dice shard though. Oh god, oh god. This room hurts my brain. I'm just gonna ignore it for now. That room really hurts my brain. I, I'm I'm a real I'm a real small brain when it comes to doing that room correctly. Uh what? bit confused there for a second. I didn't realize it's the room we had to do. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Kidney bean. Definitely going to reroll that. And I'm super glad I got fortune cookie. Fortune cookie is a very, very, very good active item. Of course, does have a chance to give us a fortune, but also has an equal chance... Or at least somewhat good chance of giving us a nice little um, soul heart or card. Right. Let's not small brain this. Okay, we did it. I don't know why, but that, that, that room just hurts my brain. It's so easy. Like, it really is not hard to internalize how it works at all. I just, my brain just can't comprehend it. Don't know how I didn't get hit by that spider then, but I'm very glad I didn't. There's one of the soul hearts already. Fortune cookie, so good. Yeah, fortune cookie is something I feel is underrated. Because a lot of people use it and get like... They get like a fortune seven times in a row and are like, Oh my god, this thing sucks. But you got to realize it's only a two room charge. Makes it pretty good. There you go, two soul hearts already. Back to back. What on earth is that little face that guy's pulling? We're going to pick this up to get the five bombs. We don't actually care about it. We'll also pick up the pill as well. We're playing as Kane, remember. Get another range upgrade. Secret room could very easily be here. I'm just going to... Actually, I'm just going to try it. I'm not going to bother checking. You think you're funny, don't you, game? You think you're funny? God damn it. Do you know Crystal Ball is only quality 2? Wow. It isn't technically better than Book of Revelation. It's way less common. And it doesn't guarantee a soul heart. It can give you cards. So Book of Revelation is better. Although it doesn't take over your boss uh, items with Cuba Meat. So. But it is way rarer. It can only show up from uh, one source. I mean, it can show up in item rooms, but way less likely. Of course, the other ones in libraries. Libraries are way more common. Bunch of bombs. We'll take that. Uh, I think we're good to go. I don't think there's any way that we can get Transcendence, right? There's no way that I can think of that we can get Transcendence.
Like we can't we can't bomb the fire to get over. We'd need a hanged man card, wouldn't we? Check Cash Room for cards, maybe, yeah, but Cash Room with this much health isn't a great play, and we'd have to go back quite far, losing quite a lot of time. Time? Time. Be losing quite a lot of time. So I think I'm just gonna skip. It's a, it's unfortunate, but I think I'm just gonna skip. <clears throat> I don't wanna lose too much time. I'm trying to do boss rush here. I'll definitely do this room though. Even though it is potentially a loss of time. Guppy's kit tail here, potentially really good. Um, one thing I didn't even consider is we don't start with paper clip as, uh, as tainted cane. That you, that's an unlock. So we unfortunately don't get the free golden chest unlocks. Also, you're the first person I have donated to. Um, you now have that badge. Nice. Thank you very much, dude. That's very, very kind of you. Helps me keep this channel going. I use them all the money I make from my YouTube, Twitch, whatever. It all goes straight back into the channel to pay for the games I play or my art for my channel. I pay my artist with the money I earn from YouTube. It all gets funded straight back into it. I, I have a special account that I keep out any money from YouTube or Twitch in that, that is specifically used to be spent straight back into the channel. Blame nobody but myself. Mean. Yeah, I'm hoping we get a damage upgrade this floor or a spicy, spicy angel deal. Hello, I'm artist. He is indeed. He is I'm artist. He is top lad. Top art boy. Good. Of course, lots of chests here. Luckily, not too many golden chests, but we do have a golden key this floor, so it might be kind of nice to see them this floor, actually. Anti-gravity is very good for these guys, though. I will say that. Okay, horrible room. Let's get ready. It's actually very good for this situation here because we can just whack a whack of these fools. Eat my tears. Eat them. Whack a whack a. God damn, we're not actually killing any of them. This is super frustrating. Like, we literally haven't killed a single one yet. Okay, now we have. Now we have. This is so annoying, just die. There you go. It's because of the, the fucking ones with the eyes can move while they're, while they're like, deformed. Hermit card, that's decent. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, spider that's pretty fucking good. Happy with that. We are very slow on this run at the minute. Very slow indeed. Um, nah. Nah. I'm good, thanks. No thanks, I'm full. Why can Tinted Rocks not give you soul hearts? That's the most depressing thing ever when that happens. Devil card, we'll definitely use that in here. Definitely use it against this fella. Stop trying to hurt me with your spiders and such, you big fucker. Book of Revelations has been unlocked. Awesome. That's the sort of good shit we're looking for. Cuba meat. Grab this again. And we will get out of here. Uh, secret room is plausible to find on this floor, but I'm not going to dilly around because we're already slow. Personally, I do not like pineapple on pizza, but I will not judge anyone that does. Um, My favorite item is probably fruitcake, I'd, I'd have to say. 
All right, play the cookie. Other than that, some top items for me are um, Cricket's Body, Compound Fracture, and Car Battery. They're some other really top items for me. Right, we are slapping and slipping. We're at this, this run's actually going really well. It's just a bit slow. But, like, it's kind of going to plan. I just wish it was a little faster. Via actual speed and a bit more damage. Our damage is pretty low right now. Come on, fella. Just die. Good, good. PhD, better pills. You think you're funny, game. Literally got a got an item that does essentially nothing. <laughs> Playing as K and PhD is not really worth anything. Can I tre please try and make a video with Wells Knight? I mean... Uh, I can give it a go, but Wells Knight has a heck of a lot more subs than I do. I would be surprised if Wells Knight even knows who I am. Doesn't doesn't Wells Knight have like 150k subs or something? Does give us more do uh, coins from donating to PH uh, thingy machines. You are right, for donation machines. Power pill. I'm just going to take that and use it on another room here. Actually, a really terrible room to use it on. I don't know why I even bothered. I forgot that it feared all the enemies. So completely useless. We got one enemy killed. We're getting kind of unlucky with our uh, fortune cookie now. Yeah, he is on Hermitcraft. Wells Knight is on Hermitcraft. He, do he basically just does Hermitcraft and Binding of Isaac as his series. That's it. There, there, there is main two things. But yeah, there is a very small chance. Very small chance that that would happen. I'm not saying it's completely impossible. I haven't reached out to him. Yeah, 550k subscribers. <laughs> it's, it would be um, kind of insane if he did a collab with me. I've got to say. Taunt photo's awesome here. We are way too slow for boss rush at this point, I think. I'm fairly sure we've missed it. I can ask him, but I don't really know how I'd go about that without it sounding rude. It's it's very it's very difficult as a content creator to reach out to other people and ask to collab. Like BD1P reached out to me with this collab, with this um lovely little nuzlocke that we're doing, and then probably some other stuff in the future as well. Um but it's, it is very difficult to reach out to other content creators because it's like you don't want to come off as rude because especially for me as a really small or like relatively small creator um you like i've only I've, I've got nearly 5k subs approaching someone with 550k subs and saying hey we should make a video together that doesn't look like i'm trying to be friendly that looks like i'm trying to get clout off of his subscribers <laughs> oh god i'm taking a lot of damage right now Uh, yes, I have a full Hollow Knight series on my YouTube channel if you wish to watch it. Please don't take damage in this room. That would be really annoying. Also, getting this room again is really annoying here because this is uh, this is taking up a significant amount of time to, to complete this room here. In fact, I'm just going to bomb these guys and then try and finish them off afterwards. Good. Really hope we wouldn't run into you, but there you go. Honestly, can you stop spawning those as soon as I lob a bomb at you, please? Health is really bad right now. Really? I just wanted to... Oh, God, I keep forgetting this, this is what Red Fatty does. Oh, God. Oh, wait, isn't isn't this uh, the attacker that like literally can't hit you? Yeah, this is the one that can't hit you. <laughs> Bit of an oversight by the developers here. You just stand close to him and he literally can't hit you. I 
Eternal Heart, very good. Stapler, really good. Okay, that's good. This floor, this floor went well there. Yeah, I have a full Hollow Knight series. It's one of my favorite series on my channel. I highly recommend you go watch it. One of my favorite series I've ever done on the channel. I did it like when I was at about 2k subs. Yeah, that, that attack is literally the easiest thing in the world to dodge. I only learned about that recently off of like a tips and tricks video that I saw. But yeah, it literally cannot hit you. It, it looks like a really deadly attack. It looks like it's a really hard to attack to dodge. But if you sit really, really close to him, he literally can't hit you. Good, good. God damn. Unfortunately, we are on a, a really bad streak. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck these enemies so much. I'm actually going to use some bombs to blow up these blue fires here because we really need HP. I think boss rush is like fairly out of the question at this point. We don't have the health for it or the speed to get there. God damn it. Can you read, um, redo the Skyrim series? At some point I will. I'm waiting until I get more subs, to be honest. That series, the, at least the way that I played it, the um, Audience Adventure, which I fucking loved, by the way. It was one of my favorite ideas I've done on my channel. Um is a series that requires a fairly large audience for it to uh, for it to go sort of do what I want it to do and get enough votes. So, are you going to do a Hollow Knight Silk Song series when that releases? 100 fucking percent. Yes, I am going to. God damn, we have so missed Boss Rush here. That's a real shame. This, is, this has just been so slow, this run. It's just because of rooms like this. Why are we getting these enemies so often? We are literally seeing these globin enemies all the time. And also, getting no HP at all from our uh, stupid fortune cookie. I was picking you up, lad. Come on. Help me out here. I was telling everyone how great you were, and you are not giving me a card or soul heart in years. Don't just say give up, you rude bitch. Very mean. Look, Penny. Lovely. Oh, no. That was a champion that hit me as well, then. This is definitely looking more and more like it could just be a loss. Like, outright. I could just lose this run. Honestly, this this is prob this, this, this is really feeling like a loss. We need some serious soul heart infusion real fast. Because we are getting nothing from... Uh, our active item right now, and I'm getting hit way too much. This is definitely not a boss rush run, even if we made it. This is barely even a good run. We just need more, like, damage or something. I don't know. Oh my god, give me a soul heart, please. We need this angel deal so bad right now. Oh, you had to do it to me, didn't you? Literal big fucker McGee here. Nigh impossible to dodge. Leaves creep all over the floor. Bounces wherever the hell he wants. Why do we have to get the worst boss in the worst champion variant possible? You're just impossible to dodge. How was I meant to dodge that? I can't, because it's RNG. We got another Eternal Heart, which is saving our life right now, frankly. But oh my god. This is not good at all. I 
kind of do want... Yes, yeah, got a soul heart. I kind of do want to buy the eraser. But I don't even know what we'd use it on at this point, really. Maybe hearths. But yeah, we've, we've missed boss rush now. Sad times. This run has really killed the momentum compared to the last few. Secret room, nice. For fuck's sake, stop! This game needs to calm down. I don't want to fight fucking ultra fucking greed. I'm not ready. Also, that missed. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> so annoying. This is so annoying. My God. Mr. Me has been unlocked. Awesome. Also, yes, I will use all four of my bombs to try and get soul hearts out of this. We got one. Chalk that up as a win. I went back this way in case this was my item room. And because now we're not on a time limit anymore. So we can take our sweet, sweet time to get as much of an advantage as we can. I need more charges and stuff. Check your sack room for a soul heart. You are right, I should. That is always the way to go. But yeah, how's everyone else in chat doing? How is everybody else doing? This could be our item room as well. We've got to check it. It is indeed. Holy water. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good night, sir. Thanks for the funny stream. Glad you enjoyed, dude. Glad you enjoyed. Glad to hear you enjoyed. Damn, we've been getting really unlucky with our golden chests as well. We've not really had anything good in them. Oh my god. There's so much money that we don't need. The last four, we can even use money. We could technically use it on this guy, but... Playing that dude seems like a real pain in the ass. A real pain in the ass. Oh, saucy little one. What's with all the money? Give me something different. Give me some pills or something. God damn. There's a card in the shop. Okay, let's go take a look. Wheel of Fortune. Fortunately, not very good. Money equals power would be great this run. You are right. It really would. It really would. You know what? Let me go back to this room real quick. It's only a power pill. Okay. Don't need to worry about it. Look at my creation. Okay. Okay. Good fucking room. Funny game. Really funny. Really funny game. Oh my god. Those enemies outright should not exist. Also good. This is also funny. Oh, this is also... This has got... We're getting some of the most horrible rooms in the game right now. I gotta admit. God damn. Boss time. Do not use High Priestess against this boss, though. It will stomp us instead of her. Sadly, Holy Water ain't gonna do much against you. And I got hit again. Fuck's sake. Oh my god. This has been bad. Um, basically, to unlock the Lost, we're going to um, fully complete a character, get all their completion marks, and then just sacrifice them. 
Once you have all the marks on a character, it's pretty easy for you. Oh my god. What is this? With the horrible spawns and everything. Oh my god, the mum's foot's coming down as well. Okay, and uh, holy water, could you like get mum's foot even once, please? Stop spawning, damn globins. I'm gonna kill someone. My god. Oh, guys, an angel deal, finally. This could be our savior. I can be your hero, baby. I can wash away the tears. <laughs> Why does that item even exist? God damn. Why does that item even exist? Right, just play this as safe as humanly possible. We have two bombs for bombing out of rooms that need bombing out of. Holy water, thank you. Oh my god, just play this as safe as we can. Nobody wants to lose Kane. Rooms like this are pretty much fine. They're annoying, but they're fine. Just gotta be careful of all the creep. That was a really good holy water spawn there. It spawned like on him. And again. Oh my god, please give me some better golden chest rewards. I need them. How am I meant to get over there exactly? Okay. Oh my god. Uh, probably not anytime soon, Toast. I've not got any plans to play it at the minute. I might play it at some point, but it's not on my list. I've got a lot of other things that I'm playing at the minute. Or a lot of other things on my list to play at the minute. Stay asleep. Um, I don't like the look of this room. Play it slow. Play it slow. Um, we got four bombs at this point. I'm going to keep them for uh, hopefully having a better time at escaping rooms. Try and take these out segment by segment. Just don't get hit by the spiders being flung at us. Yeah, this is working out fine right now. HP's great. Sadly got a devil deal, but we'll check it in case there's something great. <sighs> um, we need to go deeper. Would allow us to uh, skip to the next floor. But honestly, this run isn't capable. This run isn't capable. Let's just stay away from that. These hearts don't fly, apparently. Did not know that. Kind of look like they do fly. <gasps> Finally! A good item! And it gave me one black heart, but it's enough. I like how holy water just missed completely there. The lovers. Okay, that's good too.
Oh, ho, ho, I can't believe that hit me. Chariot card's good. I think Lovers is better, though. More bombs, good. Them guys don't deal contact damage. Easy. Right, just get in there with them. Try and use uh, Cuban Meat to block shots if we have to. We should be okay here. Get some bombs in there. Did get hit once there, but that wasn't a black heart, so that's good. Sometimes bombs do that, where they just kind of go wild and go, like, miles away. Oh, you've got some lumps in there now, have you? What's, what's going on exactly right now? Couldn't really figure out what was happening there. But we've got it. We've, we've easily got it here. Okay. Slightly sad run. Oh. We could try and go do um, Satan. But honestly, this run isn't capable. I'm not risking it. Oh, Ipecac unlocked. Nice. Didn't even know Ipecac was an unlock. Good, good, good. Right. Let's go for another. Um, should we just do a, a simple little Azazel run? How about that? Oh, can I link the website? Sure can. I sure can. There you go. Scores are all up on that website there. No worries. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a little Azazel run. Azazel to heart should be fairly easy. Should be fairly easy here. Let's see what item we get from our item room. Hey, infestation two, awesome. Noise, noise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Blazing through him. Indeed, I am. That last run was a bit of a schlog, to be honest. This one should be really easy. Oh, god damn it. Don't get hit like that, though. This one should be fairly easy, because Infestation 2 is amazing. I'll take the pill. Look up. Noise. Good, good. Let's try and get some amount of health here. Let's hope we get a HP up. Give us Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly would be a fantastic pickup early. Ah, do you know what? HP up. That's good enough for me. Let's go. Yeah, I gotta say, um, C. Nito is just literally fucking destroying it. He's been playing like four or five hours every day since the challenge started. He's been playing an insane amount. Should you get this game, if you enjoy watching it, you will 100% enjoy playing it. Just, if you do get the game, I very highly recommend you buy it with all the DLC. It is significantly more expensive, but significantly more worthwhile. Playing just Rebirth, while fun, you are not getting anything close to the full experience. You really want to buy it with all DLC. It is far better with all the DLC. Let's go to our item room. Can you remind me when I tune into another game? What do you mean about what do you mean remind you about what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Watch your eye. Let's go for the boss. It's pin. I love that. Doing the one the one bomb strat. Shot speed up. Take our chariot card. 
Away we go. Oh, can you re um, remember me when I tune into another the game? Oh, of course I will, yeah. Of course I will. Slightly annoying room here. Spiders can't really do anything. Honestly, might want to use my chariot card, to be honest. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Gotta be careful here, because my health is actually kind of low. That's very good for us here. Bit herming. I like it. Good, good. I don't exactly know how Herming will work with this Brimstone. I think it's good. I, I know that it adds a little bit of range when you use this book anyway, so that's good. Adds a little bit of range. Let's try it in this room, just to see how it works. Yeah, it adds range. It doesn't seem to add Herming. It just adds range. It literally doesn't seem to add any Herming whatsoever, which is a bit of a shame, but honestly, uh, an active that gives us range isn't bad either, so... I won't complain too much. Um, is it cheating when you're going to die and leave the game? Of course it is, yes. There's no resetting. If you're having a bad run, you're having a bad run. Tough shit. <laughs> Yay, baby bender active. Yes. If you use um the... If you, get, if you have herming already and use uh, another form of herming... You get a uh, baby bender unlocked. Pretty good stuff. Grab that real quick. Yes. Ho oh, ho ho baby. A Robberos worm. Here we come. Woohoo! Look at that flat headed boy. A robber ass worm. <laughs> yes, baby. Nice big range up. Looking absolutely wacky. Maybe herming will work with this version as well. I don't actually know. Probably not, but still. What days do you stream this? Saturdays and Tuesdays. At the same time, 8.30 UK time. 8.30 PM UK time. For an MSO, can you do the basement seed? I could do, yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, dude. That was really cheeky of you, you motherfucker. That was really cheeky of you. You gave me absolutely no warning about that. Mystery gift has been unlocked. Awesome. That's for destroying a set amount of rocks, I think. Honestly, I'm really concerned about the amount of HP we have right now. We have a very low amount of HP, but it doesn't matter because we just got Sacred Heart and uh, um, and an Eternal Heart. So my my complaints have been completely, completely taken away. <laughs> That's no worries, Infamous. You're going to miss some every now and again, of course. It's not, it's not uh, feasible for you to uh, get every single stream. Also, love the way Sacred Heart looks on Brimstone. The colour's so cool. Like that sort of holy white colour. It's not pure white. Looks awesome. Good, good. Pop in here, see what we get. Ooh, got an item. The belt, good. And we got that as well. Half soul heart. I thought you had to unlock half soul hearts. Apparently not. We are still trying to go boss rush here if we can as well, so let's try and speed up a little bit. But yeah, the speed up with, that we just got there very much helps with that. Another item, Mr. Dolly. Range up and a black heart. Awesome. Range up is really good. Range ups on Azazel are super important. Honestly, a Robberos Worm here is so good too. It's kind of like artificially increasing our range. It's 
Scatter bombs, good. I am taking blind items right now. It's a little bit of a risk, but for the most part, not too bad. There's so many more okay to good items that you can get to purely bad. Okay, our spiders, by the way, do fucking 40 damage each right now. So, infestation 2 is insane. We're just insta-killing everything with spiders. Half a soul hearts from everything is terrible. Ah, good to know. Thanks. But yeah, our spiders are so strong right now. I didn't even think about how strong they'd be. Because they always do double your tier damage per spider. Take it. Toothpicks is great here. Okay, that that um, that thingy room. What's it called? Um, Angel room completely saved this run. We were not, I wouldn't say on the brink of a bad run, but we didn't have anything great. But now, we, now we're looking good. I feel like I should plant a bomb here just because why not? Honestly, let's plant a bomb everywhere. There's just so many rocks in this room, it's insane. I feel like I had to do that for some reason. There was no real need to it, but I feel like I had to. Toothpicks is so nice here. That extra charge up is so good. We're on depths one here, okay. Okay, playing a little bit too fast. Don't want to take completely unnecessary damage. Good, good. Beautiful. The good thing is as well, our brimstone does so much damage. We're killing many enemies before the spiders have a chance, which means that we're building up this lovely spider army that just insta-kills bosses. Of course, a lot of the time the spiders do end up killing them, but there's also a chance they don't. Whoopsie. Sometimes the Orb Robros can get a bit funky where we completely miss. Just because of how wacky it is, but other times it's very nice. Now that's a lot of spiders. Conehead, yes. Like Conehead a lot. Double our bombs. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Extra key there as well. This is a great run. I'm loving it. Oh, look at that guy with the credit card in his mouth. That's so cool. Uh, we might as well take this. It's going to be better than that. We've already got Herming. I know it's a range increase, but getting um, periodical cards while we're in boss rush especially is going to be nice. Keep a meat there. Down we go. That is a very cool keeper. Brimstone and my, uh, my reflection are shelled. Yeah, that them them two as a combo is insanely good. We did of course lose a lot of our spiders to that boss then, but we shall get more. Just like that. <laughs> a new army has been formed in one fell swoop. God damn we so heckin' powerful. Little leech, I like little leech, I'll have that. Definitely taking strength card currently for our boss rush. Sadly, not enough keys to go in there. And I would like one for my shop, really. Damn it, we keep fighting this dude. I really don't want to fight you. Look, Penny's nice. I will bomb this real quick. Didn't get anything for it, but worth a try. Definitely bomb this room. So many bombs available to us and why not? Sadly nothing. Tinted rock there, good. Monkey's paw? No thank you. Good, good. And... Good, good, you're dead. Thank you. Plenty of time on that, let's check in here. I will take that, yes.
No death card. Thank you. Strength will do me. Strength. Okay, so we can get a pretty big range upgrade. Bird's eye. Um, chance to shoot fires that block enemy shots and deal contact damage. Max damage to four times. Fire sacred heart shot. Spider baby. I'm going to go with this for the extra range. Also, the really cool looking brimstone beam. I feel like just for the really cool looking brimstone beam, it's worth it. Oh, for God's sake. I really fucked that up then. I just didn't charge up my, my, my beam fully. As long as we can stack up more and more spiders, this is going to be easy. Who we got here? Dark one? Where is he? Oh, hello. <laughs> Did not see you up there, fella. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> An entire boss died and I didn't even see him. It's a little bit sad that the Herming's technically doing nothing for us. It is. It kind of works sometimes. Is there a red poop there? That, th there's a red poop under that item pedestal. Are you kidding me? Can you see that look? There's a red poop directly underneath that item pedestal. That is cheeky as fuck, Carrion Queen. That is so unbelievably cheeky. You little so-and-so. That is the cheekiest little thing I've ever seen in my life. It's so perfectly hidden under there. Look, you can barely see it. Thank you for killing the other enemy before me, Blurt. Two of diamonds, fair. It's weird, like, the very end of the brimstone seems to be able to herm, but none of the rest of it can. The very end of the beam does curve towards the enemy. Kind of weird. Hey, Taylor, I'm back. Um, I did a run as Kane, and now we're doing this. And we just got 2020. Awesome. This is a god run. Also, animated items. Look how cool 2020 looks. Watch it. Wait for it. Wait for it. One little sheen on there. Love it. A little bit of a sheen. Oh god, this looks beautiful. This looks truly beautiful. What a great little run here. This would be a perfect one to go to uh, the lamb on, but I really don't think we're going to be able to play a sack room unless we get, like, a lot of soul hearts on the floor somehow. Which obviously isn't likely in itself. We did get a sun carve, though. If we get a lot more red hearts, that also works. Honestly, considering we have no time limit here, we should do our due diligence and play the rest of the floor out. We did get a devil deal. Eh, I'm not going to bother with them. We don't need it. We're, we're very powerful right now. Wow, everything's dead. Again, everything's dead. Yeah, Herming Brimstone is funny. I really like the way it looks. Especially with the Ouroboros thing. With the trinket that we've got going on right now, it's just wacky as shit. Definitely play the hell out of this guy, try and get a health up. There you go, is that health up? Righty ho then. Rune shard there. Don't really need that. What are you doing, little hand? Temperance. Doesn't do too much for us. I'm just going to clear this floor, because why not? Why the heck not? Ooh, one minute, guys. I just have a few messages on Discord i got to check out. 
Okay, no, it's cool. It's cool. I'm good. I'm good. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's go. Right, so next floor, if we had a sack room and a good amount of soul heart health, I'm kind of willing to go for it. But it's going to be kind of hard for that to happen, I would imagine. <sighs> Extra fire rate's good stuff. I like that a lot. Emergency contact doesn't really do it for us. We need some um, what thingy cards, uh, hero font cards. That'd be good. That'd work well for us. Beautiful. There's a soul heart. Leave that on the floor for now. Just in case it can happen. Just in case it can happen. Good, good. We'll check for secret rooms here as well. We have plenty of bombs and stuff, so. We might as well check. I'm checking in weird spots at the minute, but hey her. We've got, like I said, we've got literally thousands of bombs, so it doesn't really matter if we waste them. Oh, there's one. Okay, wasn't expecting it to be there, to be honest. I just kind of went for it and it worked out. What's going on in here? Just some regular old bombs is all. Beautiful. Death. God damn, we're getting some unlucky cards here. That's a lot of spiders right there. I think we hit our limit. Alright, check for a second secret room here real quick. I think it's probably up here. Yeah, I thought it would be. Cancer. That's a good trinket, but it ain't going to cut it versus our super cool spinny spinny weirdness. Let's go back this way and quickly check for a sack room. I still, I'm not really sure if we're going to play the sack room, to be honest, because like, I don't know. There's another soul heart. Making it more and more plausible. Don't think we're going to get one, though. we got one more room to get one. Really don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, didn't think so. Sad times. There's a hero font as well. Oof. That's a bit sad. We got everything we needed. Ah, see you later, Axelotl. Thanks for stopping by. It was fun to have you. We've got everything we need to, uh, to, to get a successful sack room here. But sadly, no sack room. That is upsetting. Anyways, let's go fight the boss. We might end up getting a devil deal here. 36% chance. We did not, unfortunately. That ends this run, then. Uh, can you please do one greed run? Sorry, but the answer is no. I do not like greed mode pretty much at all. And I'm not going to play it until I have to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not playing greed mode until I absolutely have to, because I really don't enjoy it at all. Right, we've got time for one more run. What are people thinking? Um, Judas, Eve, Bethany, Lilith. One of them ones, basically. Bethany, you're thinking. Lilith, I hate Lilith. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Apart from for greed mode, she is better in greed mode, but still. What about a Beth run? Let's do a Bethany run. Let's do a Bethany run. People are asking for it. Let's do a Bethany run. Let's see what we get. That's pretty good. Damage up straight away. Always like to see it. 
Just gotta get our first. If you can get your first angel deal, you're you're, you're sitting kind of pretty. Why do we get a wiggly one? What the hell? Having a very hard time killing that dude. There you go. I'm just gonna use my wisps to kill these dudes because I don't have to interact with them. There you go. Go quickly check our sack room as well. Bethany's a bit of a, a bit of a dicey one because obviously no soul hearts, so we basically need a lot of red health to make this work. And I think she is one of the characters that I've probably died on most in Repentance. So we could easily lose her here. If we lost her, I'd be sad, but I wouldn't be completely distraught because if I if I lose Eve, I understand it. It's not like I feel like I was cheated out of it, sort of thing. Can you stop jumping over my shots, you fuck? My god. <laughs> Look at that keeper. My god. <coughs> mm. Look at him go. Oh god. <clears throat> my throat. It's dying. We did lose a wisp there. <clears throat> oh god, it really is dying. Holy hell, what the hell's happening to me? Can you hear my throat right now? Oh god, it's so bad. It's fine now, but... Well, kind of fine now. Oh my god, what what is going on right now? Holy hell. Okay, sadly we lost all of our wisps before the boss. I was hoping we'd be able to keep a few. <clears throat> sadly not. I love doing that. It's the most satisfying thing in the world. Sadly, not a very good thing for us to get there. Don't die on stream. I'll try not to. I'll try not to, I promise. I'm really just hoping we get like a library with some good actives. Getting a good active as this character is like imperative, I think. So important. Although to be fair, we got we got a really, really good starting item with the damage up. It's really, really nice to have. Ooh, Mama Mega's an interesting one here. Um If we could afford that, that'd be kinda nice. We'll try and do boss rush this time if we can, but we're not going to thingy about it. But yeah, Mama Mega would be really nice just to get off a use. Is this a mod? No, it's not. We're playing vanilla. We're just playing under a Nuzlocke rule set. I am playing with some visual mods on with the keepers and stuff, but most of the things are uh, vanilla game. Smart fly is pretty bad because obviously it requires us to get hit to activate. But other than that, it's actually pretty strong. Oh, they did get a pretty heavy nerf in Repentance. They like halved its damage. All right, let's get in there and do this. Oh, no. Angel deal gone. Yep, knew it. This. I'm going to pop my strength card. This boss fight can go to hell. I instantly knew, instantly knew, instantly knew we were losing our angel deal on that fight there. It was guaranteed. That, that has Im increased our chance of dying tenfold. That right there. Losing that angel deal has increased our chance of dying by a ton. I need a fire rate upgrade really badly as well. I can't take pills at the minute because the tears down would ruin me. Thank God that worked. I needed them dead so quick. I'll take the left hand. Oh, God damn. 
This is this is pretty bad. We didn't get a health upgrade off of our first boss. This has to be a good item, please. It is at least an item that gives us some unique wisps, which is good. Slightly hard fight here. I keep thinking I got anti grab and I'm, I'm tap firing again. I don't need to tap fire anymore. Angel deals slightly more likely here, but not likely. Okay, good. Good. Oh, ho, ho. Mr. Dolly's so good, too. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, can you fuck off with Breath of the Light? It doesn't even spawn any wisps. Ah! Fuck you, game. It doesn't even spawn any wisps. What the hell? At least we got Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly's a pretty big pickup there. Even though it doesn't give us the, the soul hearts, it's still a pretty big pickup because it's a very good fire rate up. Also, the range up's pretty nice too, honestly. It did, yes. Breath of Life did get a change. If you um, if you use the invincibility, if you like hold it down to the invincibility and then run into enemies, it spawns a holy light shot directly on top of them, like a big beam of light. So it can be used to deal pretty significant damage. We got fire rate again. Oh, are you kidding me? That experimental pill took away my health up. And gave me a fire rate instead. I didn't even know they could take away health. I mean, the fire rate's still much appreciated, but I really needed that health. Oh no, this is Angel Deal loss here. This might be death here. <laughs> That's better. That is better. We have to take that. God damn. This is scary. We don't have a lot of health right now, and this is... Okay, this is getting really scary now. This is getting mighty scary. See you tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Come on now. I'm kind of worried about my HP. I'm going to die. Beth's being kind of mean to me right now. Damn it. If that was a HP up, I'd take. If I had a charge, I'd take. This is very scary. We could very easily lose Bethany here. We gotta play very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh my God. That makes things a lot better for us. I'm so annoyed that that fucking experimental pill took away 
took away a health upgrade. I didn't. I did not know they could do that. All this time playing Repentance, I did not know there was a possibility that they could do that. Oh my god, that was really tense. Thank god we're back up to full health, but honestly, full health isn't much of an improvement over what we had before, to be honest. Oh my god. Yes. Old Bandage is really good for us here. Really good. Yeah, it does make sense, Shady. I just didn't think about it. I'm not complaining in the fact that I think it's unfair. I think it is fair. I just didn't think about it, to be honest. Right, we need a good angel deal this next floor, really. Or we need a really good item room. Because this is, this is getting a bit saucy, to be honest. Can you stop taking away my wisps unnecessarily, game? I keep getting to three wisps, then it takes me straight back down again. Also, stop with the boom spiders. They're really, really hard to deal with. Good thing is, we have good fire rate and damage at the minute. Look, look, look at this spider. What's it doing? Come over towards me, please. What are you doing? I need to keep... I keep tap shooting. I'm so used to that fucking anti-grev run. Just keep tap shooting. It's annoying. Okay, old bandage is such a big get for us, though, because now we actually have access to HP and stuff. Okay, this is a big room for us, although we still don't have blood bag unlocked, so not as big as I was initially thinking. Pause button's kind of an odd one. Yeah, pause button's kind of an odd one, really. Go away, go away. Um, I keep forgetting soul hearts aren't really worth buying for us. I'm actually going to come back over here and bomb this. Um, blood bag is a HP up to temperance machine. Yes, Shady Oak, you have to unlock Blood Bag. You can't, you can't get Blood Bag yet. I don't have it unlocked. That was my fa first thought as well, honestly. I know this is a kind of a waste, but no thank you, room. That room looks horrible. If we lose one of those green wisps, it pauses the whole room. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that was my that was my exact first first thought as well, but you can't do that. Really, you're gonna play like that with a creep and everything? Oh my god! I'm gonna do this. I had to use that just so we didn't lose all of our wisps there. Stop losing our wisps, god damn it! Stop losing our wisps, my god. They're so precious to us right now. How am I losing them? That was nowhere near. Game's fooling on me right now. Game's fooling on me. Do not jump. Do not jump. Do not jump. Good. Fucking devil deal. No. That's bad. That's really bad. We really didn't need to deal with the devil there. God damn it, we really did not need to deal with the devil there at all. Oh no. This is a really bad room for us. 
Okay, it pauses them with while we can still shoot. That's good. Curse of the tower. You've got to be fucking memeing with me, game. Fucking so many, what's it called? Wisps or whatever. And this. I should probably just play this guy. This guy's way more worthwhile. It's not great, but it's something. It ain't great, but it's something. We are at least now in the spot where a small mistake doesn't instantly delete a character from our life. But we're probably in a situation where boss rush isn't plausible. And we're just going to have to go for the mum's heart kill. But every mum's heart kill we get gets us closer to unlocking Polaroid and negative and all that jazz. So This is just an annoying room more than anything. I'm going to create a... One of them. Yeah, just so we can... Do you know what? I'm going to create a bigger one if we can as well. Just does so much damage. These are really useless normally, but against these fellas, it's actually really nice. Just so we can get them to walk into it and do a bit of extra damage. Come on. What? That was a full circle. Dude... Dude, just step in the circle, please. There you go. God damn it. <laughs> I'm having to stoop to such low levels of using the bloody trail. Shouldn't have to use this for damage, but it's what we've resorted to at this point. It's what the game has done to us. Gotta use every little thing we can get our hands on, to be honest. Honestly, this room's frustrating as hell. Okay, good. I really do want to use my invincibility whenever I can just to build up wisps, but... Actually, do you know what? This is a good enough room. I, it needs to be a good enough room for it, really. This is a good enough room for it, looking at it now. Some mighty annoying enemies in there. That is a very cool looking dude. I really should be donating more as well. That's very good. We've got to come back for that. Oh wait, this is Depths 2. We can't come back for it. We should at least leave it until the mum fight. We're definitely going to lose that Eternal Heart, sadly. That is big sad. Because we, we don't have enough soul hearts to do a double charge of our active item, so. I mean, I suppose, can we get a battery charge from the shop? I didn't actually check that. We can't, sadly. We can't. Eternal Heart is going to give us a nice full red heart on the next floor, so. It'd be really good if we can manage to get it. But if we lose it, if we get hit, it's gone. Gonna have to pop this already. She spawned some absolutely horrible enemies there. There is no way we're doing this. We, ha we have made boss rush, but there is no way on earth that I'm gonna do it. Can you stop spawning these bloody heads? This is so difficult. I'm so scared. We need damage. I'm lacking damage right now. It's scary. Did not mean to do that. It's all the ads that she spawns that make this hard. If she spawns some really bad enemies, it can just screw you up so hard. Just These ones that, like, wander are the worst. Okay, I kind of forgot I could do that. That's actually really good damage on her. We got her. Nice. Dark Boy Achievement. Leprosy. Blood Clot here. That's good. Another Devil Deal that's just annoying to see. Nine lives there, but there's just no way I can take that. Any of those are just not possible.
we'll check in here in case any of these items could win us the run. Nope. No boss rush for us, sadly. We can't do it. It's just not a good idea. Okay. We are almost entirely reliant on Book of Shadows at this point. Guppy's tail. Okay. We've got a lot of keys. That's that's decent. Okay, good. Blood Clot's actually an okay damage up for us here as well. Rather nice. I am staying as safe as I can. Like, I don't really care if what I'm doing is, like, super slow. It's just what's safest. Like, if I'm if I'm going to take an extra few runs to get Mag uh, to get Beth boss rush, so be it. If, I, if I'm going to take ages to catch up to everyone else, so be it. I just want to last as long as I can without people dying. Okay, good. Sadly, we're having to use our charge pretty much the moment we get it right now. This isn't too bad. Take them down one at a time. There you go. Take out this little brain here. Wait until the creep dissipates. The creep can be a real big killer. This shouldn't be too bad. Wait until they've all gone past us. Follow the last one. Boom. Did it. Yes. Soul hearts are great for us because that's extra charges. We need those in case things go terribly wrong like that. Even though we got a heart there. Still. Ooh, I'm going to try and get a charge before we do our boss. I'd rather go in with two charges. Especially considering we have a red heart on the floor there, back. Okay. Oh, bandage just kind of saved me there. Didn't expect that. Why do these enemies even exist? Edmund, you evil, evil fucker. These enemies just should not exist at all. God damn it. Right, now we've got two charges. Whew. We've got a red heart here to pick up. Okay, it's an easier one of the bosses, but not an easy boss. Be very careful for that attack. Okay, the split. Once they've split... More than twice, they're actually kind of easy. But before that, they're, they're a bit of a prick. Okay, good. We're pretty much safe now, I think. That's a soul heart, at least, but it's not great for us. Um... I don't know. Probably just Guppy. Like, there's not many other good transformations, to be honest. Guppy's kind of the only one that's worth having. Seraphim's also nice, but Seraphim also does the exact same thing as um, the single item revelation. So, <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not exactly the most coveted one. Oh god, there's pins. Take care of these first, then. We'll deal with the weird heads later. In fact, let's move the hell away. Okay, I think we got them all. 
chasey boys there getting blood clots making such a difference here honestly it's so good remember there's a red heart behind the rocks here if we get a bomb pins again or needles as they're called Got him. Oh my god, this is stressful as all shit. Okay, we've got multiple charges going into this. Let's just do it. Okay. Old bandage saved us already once. Good. Only use our book of secrets if we need to use it. Also, getting hit once and getting old bandage to proc actually means that we get some extra damage from revenge fly, which is rather nice. Get back on her. There you go. Why are lumps spawning here like that? I shouldn't use my mincibility here. Complete waste, to be honest. I really hate it when this mum fight goes on for a while because this sort of shit starts to happen. Where she just starts to spawn an unbelievable amount of enemies. Like, she can spawn Terra Terma at one point. It's insane. Okay, we should be good to pop this now. Just get in there. There you go. Okay, we at least kept Bethany alive. Oh, worst transformation. Uh, the spider baby one. Oh, okay. Annie, Annie, a lover? Please don't do that. <laughs> like, it's fine if you want me to ask, but I, I do tend to read the chat. You don't need to put your message three times, especially when the chat isn't very active and there's not many messages, I'm going to see it. Like, you're not going to get lost in other people's chat. You no need to spam. Anyways, that's going to leave it off for of this stream, I think. Really, really good stream. We got a lot and a lot of points, a lot of score. We managed to get ourselves um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, 8, 9, 9 new marks. Um, one new challenge and about 40 new secrets. Very, very good going. Very, very good going indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Absolutely fun. Amazing stream. Got loads of done. And yes, uh, I'll be streaming again on Tuesday, just a few days from now um, at um, 8.30 UK time. 8.30 PM UK time. That's about an hour before my regular YouTube Isaac video goes up for those of you that need a reference for other time zones. Either way, thank you all for stopping by. This has been really, really fun. And I will see you guys in the next one.